All right, coming in at number 27 on the Locked On Senators NHL Draft Rankings, it's Ryder Ritchie of the Prince Albert Raiders. He's an August birthday, really one of the younger players in this draft class. He's six feet tall, 175 pounds, and Pilsy, this guy, a buzzsaw, continually came up as I did my research. Buzzsaw, all right, I like that. Um, first, you got to mention some of his accolades here. He was the WHL Rookie of the Year in 2022-2023. So not last season, the season before, where in 61 games, he had 55 points. So to jump onto the scene in junior like that at almost a point-per-game pace is pretty damn impressive. So you got to tip your cap to that. Let's get to a little more recent, though. Last season, he played in 47 games. Uh, Wheeler mentioned that he had a lower body injury in December that sidelined him for a bit. So that's why you see the games played so low there. But he was able to, to put up points when he was on the ice because in 47 games, he had 19 goals, 25 assists, good for 44 points. So pretty close to a point per game. And then he ramped it up in the playoffs, seven points in five playoff games. And he continued the points, Ross, when it came to the U18s with Team Canada, in seven games, he had eight points. So this guy's able to step up to the plate when he needs to. Yes, he is. And he's also the type of guy, for me, I, I put coach's pet on there, and not because he's a suck-up, because he's the kind of guy who the coach is going to rely on in all situations. And I also think he's got that offensive pop, too, that when you're down a goal, He's the kind of guy in junior at that level that the coach is going to tap on the shoulder, say, hey, we need one. Go get us one. Bob McKenzie, the highest on him at 21 on our rankings there. McKean's is at 23. Scott Wheeler at 29. Craig Button at 32. Chris Peters at 37. Corey Pronman all the way down at 49. And uh, forgot to mention Elite Prospects has him at 27. What to you is the defining attribute for Ryder Ritchie? I, I would say just his creative playmaking, Ross. Um, like the highlights I was watching of him on two on ones, he's so shifty. Like if you've watched hockey, you like I say the word two on one, and you can play out how that two on one goes in your mind, Ross. Right? Two yep. uh, forwards coming in, a defenseman coming down. The forward with the puck is waiting, waiting. If the defenseman goes down to block the pass, okay, he's shifting his body position, he's going to shoot. If the defenseman hasn't gone down yet, he's going to shift his body position and he's going to pass. And then that guy's going to score on the back door. That's pretty much how every single two-on-one goes. Not for Ryder Ritchie. He'll fake shot toe drag around the sliding defenseman and then you're like okay he's got that toe drag loaded up he's gonna shoot it and then he fools everyone into thinking he's gonna shoot and then slides it over back door and his teammate puts it in easy because everyone bit on it and he's just so creative behind the net Gretzky's office he's given defensemen absolute tough times they don't know whether to go to the right side left side as soon as a defenseman makes a choice he goes the other way either wraps it around or finds a defenseman coming in for a nice pass to hit them with a one-timer there's just so many different options when Ryder Ritchie has the puck on his stick that it makes it really tough for opponents to get a read on him and his teammates are loving being on a line with him because it, they're always going to find a way to get open, and he's going to find a way to get them the puck. Ryder Rich, he had a goal and an assist in the gold medal game at the World Under-18s. He had a goal and an assist in the semifinals against Sweden at the World Under-18s, and he had a goal in the quarterfinals as well, or the final round robin game. So you look at that big game player, big game moment, and Ryder Ritchie stepped up. Now, Ryder Ritchie almost didn't represent Canada he was invited to Team Sweden's under-16 camp before he ever met with Hockey Canada because he grew up a little bit in Sweden. His mother is Swedish. His dad, Byron Ritchie, had a long career, NHL, AHL, and over in Sweden when he had Ryder, of course. So Ryder's a Calgary guy, but um, does have Swedish heritage, including his uncle, Andreas Johansson. Remember that name, guys? Long time. I shouldn't say long time NHL. He played a few years in the National Hockey League, including 1998-99 when he played 69 games with the Ottawa Senators, 37 points. And uh, Andreas Janssen also had two playoff games with the Ottawa Senators. So he's got half Swedish side of the family, 
half Canadian. And uh, to me, look, he's a guy where I, I wouldn't even mind him at 25, Pillsy. I think that he's the type of guy that is going to make it despite maybe being a little bit undersized. He's up over six feet now. It's He's grown a little bit over the last year. And I think that that's kind of just going to help the style that he plays because I think he's going to have to be a bottom six guy to start. Not to say that that's his ceiling because he could pop off offensively. We know the Prince Albert Raiders were simply not a good team yeah. this past year. They're in their rebuild phase of their cycle. But I, w- I would like to see him play with more skilled teammates. And, well, we did at the under-18s, and he had eight yeah. points in seven games. So that's what I'm saying. And even then, he was in a third-line role. You look at his time on ice, he's around 10, 12, 13 minutes there. I really like this player, Pilsy. Yeah, there's a lot to like, Ross. And um, we know the Sens of the past, at least, were really into the generational hockey players. So having a dad and an uncle that played. And Ross, I was I was looking through Byron Ritchie's uh, playing career, and he went over to Sweden in the 04-05 lockout. Uh, so if that lockout doesn't happen, I, well, I don't know this, but I'm assuming uh, Byron met... Ryder's mother in the lockout year and that's when uh that's when that connection was made because he didn't I thought you were gonna say that's when the match happened because <laughs> because well, hey. then he uh Byron didn't go back to Sweden until 2010 so, right so that's something interesting there um but you look at a, a guy like Ryder Ritchie and, and there's just so much offensive capability here uh, Wheeler loves the way he gets around defenders to get into the zone. And then once he's in the zone, like I mentioned, like the creativity with the playmaking is, is top notch. So certainly if you're looking for an offensive player, Ryder Ritchie is a guy you want to add to your system. He certainly is. He comes in with an average ranking of 30.9 Pillsy send stars for Ryder Ritchie. So I've got Ryder Ritchie at three and a half stars, Ross. Um, He's very similar to me. I saw a lot of similarities to him and Cole Baudouin. Uh, I don't know if you you agree I put with that. Them, or... I put them back to back on on the list. I got Baudouin one spot ahead of Richie. Okay, good. That validates that. I, I think they're similar players in similar ranges with similar potentials. Now, three and a half stars, that means I like the player, but I don't necessarily love the fit for the Sens uh, when it comes to what they need and where their range is. I don't like, where do you think Ryder Richie is going to get selected, Ross? I have a hard time pinpointing this one. He could either be like, you know what player comparable comes to mind from last year's draft to be Easton Cowan, right? Like oh, a yeah, guy, yeah. like a little bit undersized. And obviously Cowan was playing a lot of nice, a little bit different than the Prince Albert Raiders. Mm. So the points were a lot easier to come by for uh, Easton Cowan last year. But that same kind of shifty playmaking ability and that big game potential that Easton Cowan is becoming known for. So he went, I think, 28th last year, if I'm not mistaken. He was a late first-round pick. I see kind of the similar spot. 28 to yeah. 35 is probably where I see Ryder Ritchie being selected. But if your team just selected Ryder Ritchie, you're going to enjoy watching him develop because he he's a highlight reel, man. He's fun to watch. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I would not be disappointed if, uh, if your team selected him, for sure. The Ryder Ritchie comes in at number 27 on our Locked On Senators NHL Draft Rankings. 